Okay, so on tonight's episode of Homie Dope Cooking, we're merging two favorites, tacos and spaghetti, to make one dish. I guarantee you that this will be a family favorite in your weekly rotation. So if you want to get Homie Dope in the kitchen with me tonight, stay tuned. Welcome back to Homie Dough Cooking. I'm so excited tonight because I am trying a dish with you all that I have made numerous times and I'm pretty sure my family is tired of eating this. But tonight we are doing the taco spaghetti. And I know that spaghetti usually is probably a uh, dish in your weekly rotation. It's easy to make and it's great for leftovers. But sometimes the marinara sauce, the alfredo sauce, that can get a little bit mundane. So I thought about putting a new flavor on it to just kind of mix it up a little bit. So tonight we are doing taco spaghetti. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. So over here, I have my pan already heating up. We're gonna put a little olive oil in the pan so we can saute the onions and also brown the ground turkey. Now, you know I'm using ground turkey. We are no red meat family, but you're more than welcome to use whatever ground you wanna do, ground beef, ground pork, it's all yours. So this is my olive oil. And actually, I got this olive oil from Home Goods. It is infused with like garlic and basil and thyme. Um, it's, it was a really good buy. It was like $7.99, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so I've been really loving this so far. So I suggest you guys, if you ever go to Home Goods, be sure to shop their food aisle. You'll find a lot of good gems and good items that you can use to cook with, or just a lot of new things that you can try. So let's go ahead and get the pot warm. And so over here, I have my ground turkey. This is a pound. And then I have my white onions, and this is a half an onion, but of course, all the ingredients will be down in the description box. And for my recipe cards, I always upload them to my Facebook pages and my Pinterest pages. So that's looking hot. Let's go ahead and add this in. So I would say, make sure you saute the onions first before adding the ground turkey. That's just to ensure that the onions get cooked all the way through. You don't want tough onions. And so like I mentioned earlier about weekly rotations, I want you guys to drop down below and kind of just let me know what are some meals that you guys cook weekly um, that your family loves. Or if you're tired of those weekly meals, drop those down below and I'll see what I can do to put a different spin on it for you guys. So what we're gonna do is keep this going. We're gonna stir it up. Is it stir it up or is it stir it up? I don't, I don't know. You know, I'm from the South, so y'all gotta bear with me. But I think it's stir it up. All right, so now the onions are looking good. They're smelling really well. And that's another surefire way of knowing when it's time to add something else, uh, well, to add your meat to the pot. When you can actually smell the aroma of the onions, that lets you know that it's ready. So I have my pounds of ground turkey here. Go ahead and add that in. And then one thing I'm gonna say, this dish, you can always multiply it depending on the size of your family and the size of the, um, I said the size of the family. What else? The size of the family and however many people you're cooking for. <laughs> So we're gonna give that time to brown. And then once the ground turkey browns, then we're gonna go ahead and add the taco seasoning. Now I tried a different taco seasoning this time. I usually use like the El Paso or the, um, what's the other kind? I can't think of it. But this is new from Casa Fiesta. I like trying new items just to see if I like it better than some of the, um, usual brand names. So typically on the taco seasoning packages, they tell you to add like a half a cup of water, three fourths a cup of water, whatever. But this time we're not adding any water to it. Just add the seasoning once your meat is brown, stir it up and then we're gonna push that to the side so we can go ahead to the second part of preparing the dish. Okay, so we fast forward a little bit 
Now we got our meat, it's brown. There's a little bit of pink still in it, but that's okay. So we're gonna go ahead and add our taco seasoning. And like I said before, don't worry about adding the water like the directions tell you, that's unnecessary. So we're gonna sprinkle that in. We're gonna stir it around. And actually, I recently just did the big chop. So honestly, my hair, um, I've always had long hair and thick hair, but recently I just have not been taking care of my hair like I should have been. And my hair just got extremely damaged and it was thinning out and then it was trying to grow back and then the ends were just thin and damaged and I just kind of got fed up with it. And so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna cut it off, start over fresh. I haven't had a relaxer since the beginning of the year. So I felt like I had enough hair to work with. So I just did it. I cut it, I did it, and it's been done. Um, I'm really starting to love it. I'm really starting to like it. So if you guys are feeling my new hair, just let me know, drop down below. Let me know how you do it. And then also, if you have any hair tips as far as natural hair care, I appreciate those as well. So yeah, so we got this browned. We got the sauce, um, not the sauce, the seasoning added. So our next steps in this process will be to add our wet ingredients and our pasta. So, now this is a pound of spaghetti, but we're doing half. So we're gonna do half box or half a pound of spaghetti. But when you add the spaghetti, you have to make sure that it's broken into halves. We have this, but before we add the spaghetti, this is enchilada sauce. So we're gonna do one cup of enchilada sauce And this is actually helping to build upon the taco flavor of the spaghetti. So we got that. And then next we have a cup of chicken stock, if I'm not mistaken. Then like I said before, you can add um, beef stock. I don't know if they have pork stock. I don't know how that would taste, but um, you can add that. So let's stir that around. I might add another cup of chicken stock, um, but we, we'll just see, but I'll let you know for sure about that. Then we also have our um, Rotel mix. But you know what? Whenever I think of Rotel, I think of the Rotel with the cheese. So it's hard for me to just call this Rotel because my mind always go back to the Rotel actual dip. This is actually one can of Rotel, and I actually got the lime and cilantro blends. Feel free to get whatever blends you want. Get the hotter spicy blends if you want to add a little bit of spice to the dish. I'm not because my son is, he's gonna be eating it as well, and he's not a spicy fan. So that's one can of Rotel. Stir that around. And then we are going to add, this is a cup of cheese. Now this cheese blend is the Mexican cheese blend or the taco season cheese blend, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I know that, I recently noticed that Taco Bell has a cheese line. They have like ranch, salsa verde, um, I think taco or nacho, and it's another one, but I didn't pick that up this time. I've used it before. It's really good, so if you wanna try that, I suggest you pick that up. This is the cup of cheese. We're gonna add in here. Continuously stirring. And I do think I am gonna add another cup of the chicken broth. Um, later, but let's go ahead and do the half a box of the spaghetti. Now, if anybody have a surefire way of testing out the amount of spaghetti that you're cooking, because I usually make too much pasta whenever I make pasta. It's just so hard for me to gauge what is what. So if anybody have any tricks or tips about that, just please let me know. It'd be greatly appreciated. But today, I'm just going to eyeball it. I said half the box, so I'm going to do probably like another handful. Break it apart. Oh, it's splashing everywhere. Put somebody's eye out. And then you want to make sure it's not sticking. 
So you want to continuously check in on it. So now that we have all the ingredients in, then like I said earlier, I'm gonna add another cup of chicken broth. Cover it, you're gonna let it simmer. I say on like a medium to low heat for 10 minutes first, check it, do another 10 minutes, check it. I like to check my food periodically while it's cooking, but the total cook time is probably like 20, 25 minutes tops. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get this done and then we're gonna come back and check in on it a little bit later. 11 minutes later. Okay, so we're basically done with this dish. Um, I, like I said, told you a little bit earlier, I added a, one more cup of chicken stock to the pie. I just felt like you needed a little bit more liquid for the pasta, especially because this dish, the pasta will stick easily. So you really wanna make sure you have enough liquid and you also wanna make sure that you're actually checking on your dish and stirring it frequently. It cooked for about 20 minutes and so it's done now. So I would say I checked on it every three to five minutes, stirred it around just to make sure the pasta wasn't sticking together and everything was cooking properly. So we're gonna go ahead, take the lid off and then I'm gonna stir it around. And then how I check my pasta, I taste it. <laughs> so, let me grab one. Noodles. Let's try this. Mm -hmm. We are good to go. All right, so what we're gonna do next, we're gonna plate, and I'm gonna show you some options for toppings to make this dish even funner. Well, more fun. <laughs> okay, and so now we are done. This dish, under 30 minutes. I cooked my pasta for about 20 minutes, checking on it periodically, <laughs> like I told you earlier. And then you can have dinner on the table quick and fast. So let's go ahead and get plating. So we're gonna grab a heap of pasta. And let's grab a little bit more. And as far as the toppings go, this is something that'll be very fun, like a family fun dinner night. You can make an assembly line of different toppings, typical taco toppings. And so you can let everybody kind of go down the assembly line and put their own toppings on their bowl of spaghetti. And I think it'd be really fun for the kids. It's just something different that you can do. But right here, I have some more of the shredded cheese. So I'm gonna add a little bit more cheese to mine on top. And then we gotta add our color. This is just some fresh chopped parsley. And then also, I have been a fan of the Cholula hot sauce for a while now, and I'm just a fan of putting hot sauce on everything, including my spaghetti. So I'm gonna put some on here. And then we are done. Taco spaghetti has been added to our weekly rotation. And once you guys make this, please drop down below and let me know how your family liked it, if you made any changes to it, and also if you have any other ideas of dishes that you would like me to put a spin on. So before I taste this, I want you to be sure to like and subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification button so you will know whenever I drop a new video. If you're not already following me on Instagram and Facebook, do that as well. Um, I'm humbly dope cooking all across the board and also on Pinterest. So let's go ahead and get this tasted. Now I've been criticized about my taste testing. I've been told that I don't taste good. I said I don't taste good. <laughs> I'm gonna ask my husband what he think about that. But anyway, but uh, I'm gonna get a good helping this time. Mm. This is so good. It basically tastes like an enchilada or a taco, but with spaghetti, which that's the point of it. So look, like I always tell you, you don't have to recreate the wheel. All you have to do is just be creative and think outside the box and you too can be humbly dope in the kitchen. I see you guys next time. Bye.
eyes. They have stars in their eyes on this lovely bell another. Side by side with your loved one, you'll find an enchantment here. The night will weave its magic spell when the one you love is near.